Hey guys, it's Michelle with Bariatrics and Tips. There is only one cook in the kitchen today and it is me. I am here live to show you my wonderful creation, a nice light side salad that you can either use to pass at a potluck or make it into a meal with some grilled chicken, Greek pilaf. I love Greek food so much and I love the seasonings that accompany those um, that whole type of menu. So I'm here to show you this. It's going to be really exciting and it's probably going to be rather quick too. So um, one of the things that we all have in common is that we've had weight loss surgery or maybe we're gearing up to have weight loss surgery. But it doesn't matter if you're striving for overall health and fitness, if you're trying to combat a diabetic diagnosis, it does not matter. You're in the right place because I've dedicated my existence to making sure that I'm finding joy in the journey, that I'm living large, I'm cooking small, and I'm finding flavor in everything that I do. Hey Judy, good to see you too, thank you. I'm also going solo today. I have no camera person, which is good and bad. It's bad because my daughter didn't wanna do it. She is pooped out from a chemistry exam that she had earlier today. And so I gave her the day off for good behavior. So it's just me, but the really good part of it is I can see your live comments and I don't have to depend on my camera girl to uh, read them to me. So there we go. Um, I love experimenting and this is a really great experimentation gone good, okay? Um, a lot of these ingredients, actually all of these ingredients I got local. You don't need to worry about exotic ingredients or breaking the bank to buy any ingredients too. So it's, um, I'm gonna show you. The first thing we're gonna do is we're using, we're not using rice. So it's, it's not rice pilaf, it's just pilaf, <laughs> even though that means the rice. But I've selected this rice shaped um, shirataki pasta. So it's, it's rice shaped and I'll show it to you in just a minute, but it's, it's really good. It's, it's only 15 calories a serving. There's no fat. There's one gram of carbs and it's not a source of protein. So don't look at this for protein, but rice shaped, um, shirataki is made from like the cognac root and there's, they're all natural ingredients. And the best thing about this is that it's super filling. Hold on, my husband's coming in. He's coming in. You know I'm live, Troy. Yeah. I'm live. Okay. So you're gonna be seen on camera as you walk through, so you'll just have to wave. Everybody wave to Troy when he comes through. But at any rate, the rice-shaped pasta, pasta shirataki cognac root is so good because it's so filling. And even though I made one serving of it, la or a whole thing of it last week, I could only eat about a quarter to a third on my own. Um, and it's really great because it comes in two different packages. This is what one of the packages looks like. So I'll bring that really close. Hey, Melissa. Okay, so you see it? You can see it looks like rice and, oh, Troy's crawling on the floor. I should get the camera on him. And there goes the dog, so, all right. We are back to our regularly scheduled program. So it comes in two packages. It's about $4. If you are here in the Michigan area, <laughs> Judy says, hi, Troy. He's gone. He's going to go into the shower. Um, but if you live in an area where you shop at Meijer, I get this in the pasta section right up at the top shelf. Um, and it's only like $4 and some change. It's actually on sale this week. I did see the little red and yellow ticket. So try it. It comes in lots of different shapes. The fettuccine is pretty decent. Um, I'm not a fan of the penne, but the rice shaped pasta is so freaking good. And you could even like soak it in chicken broth and have like some chicken rice soup. It's delicious. Hey, Misty. I'm so glad you're here. Allison is here. Yay. I'm so excited. All right. So we've given you the tutorial on the rice shaped pasta. La Viva is the brand name right there. And if you want a quick glance, there you are. I'm just trying to make sure that I can position it right, okay? So I took one package. The thing that you've gotta do most is just make sure you prepare it properly and the directions are right on the back. Basically, they want you to strain it, rinse it, strain it, pat it dry. And that's what I've been doing. So I've got this right here. I've got it drained. Um, and you can see, well, I'm, I just dumped out some liquid in the kitchen sink. So let me get the, and I patted it dry, the paper towel that I just took off of it, 
is totally wet. So there's our rice shaped shirataki pasta, okay? Cool. So we're gonna start off with a package of that, okay? And I'm gonna put it in here. And if you still want another look, I will, I'm gonna try and make it so that you can see everything. There, can you see it? Can you see it like that? Okay, <laughs> I'm leaving it right here. Okay, from there, we wanna do um, just a couple tablespoons of cilantro. I kind of make this a, a, an optional ingredient because I've had it with and I had it without, and I just, I love cilantro. I think the world is better with cilantro in it. So that's why I put cilantro in there. All right, you wanna do a half a cup of curly parsley chopped, boom. This is really similar if you're familiar with your Greek side dishes. It's kind of like tabbouleh, um, which is made with bulgur wheat, but that's a source of carbs. And don't get me wrong, I love making it, but it also has mint in it. And this is more, less mint in this, no mint in this. Um, we're gonna do a half a cup of each of chopped tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, and chopped cucumber, okay? Yum nice and fresh. I like to use those English cucumbers um, because they have less seeds. They're very easy to slice. They're so pretty. Um, and then we're going to do a two ounces, two ounces of um, feta cheese and crumble it up. So I haven't done that yet. This is probably a skosh more than two ounces because I've been nibbling on it since I, <laughs> since I had it out. So just kind of mash it up with your fork. So there you go. Oh my gosh, I'm so eating this, I cannot wait. Um, and then we're gonna do a third of a cup of Kalamata olives. I actually bought them today, so it's a brand new, oh I love, I like the briny flavor. I know Melissa's watching and she's probably barfing her brains out because she hates Kalamata olives, but these are pitted and sliced and um, they are so easy, easy to put on salads. Um, oh gosh, easy to put on pizza. So good on pizza, okay? So there's my quarter, did I say a third of a cup? I meant a quarter of a cup, quarter of a cup, maybe some for good luck, all right? Always some for good luck. Judy, do you use Roma tomatoes? Absolutely, they are my favorite tomato on the planet. You could use whatever you want, but I love the Roma. All right, and then we're gonna do a squeeze of lemon, the juice of a lemon. We're gonna squeeze it right on in. There's one, and here's the other. I love fresh lemon. I didn't even think about it um, before I sliced it, but normally before I juice a lemon, I zest the lemon. You can put the zest in there if you want to. It'll make it obviously a little bit more lemony. Um, okay, there we go. Then we're gonna do two tablespoons each of white wine vinegar. I'm a huge, this is the wrong, hold on. I used the teaspoon. All right, two tablespoons. This bad boy right here, it's a stainless steel scoop and it holds two ounces, so, or two tablespoons. God, I'm just batting a thousand today, aren't I, you guys? All right, and then two tablespoons of olive oil. Don't let the fat in the olive oil scare you to death. I have embraced olive oil. It is a super food. Hi, Beverly. Um, the calories and fat from olive oil, I don't really pay much attention to it because it's the good stuff and I deserve the best and so do you, so meh. All right, so that's in there too. And then finally, seasoning. Oh, I love Greek seasoning. So, za'atar. If you haven't tried it, get it. You are going to love it. It is a wonderful blend of um, like a, a oregano and basil and just a, a really nice blend. And if you don't have that in your arsenal, um, and you're getting it or you don't wanna get it, just use um, a quarter to a half a tablespoon each of basil and oregano. All right, and I did forget one more thing. I'm gonna have to go to the cupboard. So I'm gonna do a teaspoon to start. That's usually enough. And then I need to go get onion salt. So hang on, I'm right here. I knew I was forgetting something. 
and we're just going to use a quarter of a teaspoon of onion salt onion powder sorry all right and we have michelle is here too hey nice to nice of you to be here all right let's give it a mix look at how nice this looks really fresh and crisp that lemon is just going to make everything better and it really really looks like a rice dish i am hi mimi glad that you're watching all right so let me give you a close-up now shirataki rice pasta takes on the flavor of what you cook with it so very similar concept to tofu so the longer you can marinate something the better and that's one of the reasons why you want to make sure you drain the shirataki pasta and pat it dry so you get as much of that liquid out of there hey judy oh judy happy birthday to noah i just saw that on facebook tell him i said hi and happy birthday judy's son noah is 10 today all right so here i'm gonna give you a look see do, 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 do. all right doesn't that look amazing look watch nom, 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 nom. all right there we go all for me too because my family won't touch it and i'm okay with that their loss all right so forkful i got the feta i got a kalamata olive some tomatoes all that yumminess here we go mm -mm -mm. i am gonna put another teaspoon of za'atar in it i did read somewhere that tasting your food as you go especially when you're creating a recipe is a really good idea because then you can tweak things as needed and i am a firm believer that the more i, I don't want to over season things but the flavor is the key and what not many people know especially for a weight loss journey is that the stronger the flavor the more satisfied you become and the less deprived you feel and i'm all about not feeling deprived i don't want anyone telling me hi kim I don't want anyone telling me that I can't have something or asking me, can you have that? When the reality of the matter is, I can have whatever I want, whatever I want. I'm just gonna choose to live a healthy lifestyle and this is one way to do that. So experiment with seasonings. You can get them at the Dollar Tree, you can get them at the grocery store, you can buy them online. Um, the Zatar, I actually get on Amazon and I'll put the link on our Facebook group page today just because um, it's, a lot cheaper than getting it locally. Um, you get more for relatively the same price local. So I got a, an extra bottle waiting for me because I'm almost at the tail end of this. It's so good, so, so good. So that is my recipe demonstration. This would be really great for a potluck. It would be, an, it's an amazing snack, which I'm gonna have right now. It is gonna keep me full. I probably only need, well, this is a half a cup. This is a quarter of a cup. I probably only need maybe a third to a half a cup and I'm gonna be very full. Um, that's the shiitake rice pasta live and in force. So try it, it's super good. Um, I have experimented with a lot of different brands and this is my go-to. One, it's local, which I can't believe it's local because usually you find the good stuff and you can only get it like on Amazon or whatnot, but it's fantastic and I really recommend it. Um, I can put the I can find the link for that and put that on our Facebook page too. So there you have it. You can put um, maybe uh, some salmon or some grilled chicken. Some shrimp would be delightful. The sky is the limit, and that is the moral of the story. The recipe is a guide. Tweak it however you feel you should tweak it because you deserve to be able to eat what you want and feel good about what you eat. Um, so thank you for joining me. Remember, you can get all types of tricks and tips on our Facebook group page, Bariatric Tips. Um, ask your questions, post your triumphs. Um, if you have problems, let your bariatric, bariatrics and tips community help you. I will be back not next week because I will be out of town. I need to reschedule next week's. Um, I actually have a little bit of a side business. I make jewelry and this is my craft show season. So all my Saturdays are accounted for until the middle of December. Um, BD Sweetie is the name. If you want to, feel free to look at it on Facebook. That is my plug for the day. 
I appreciate your time so much. It looks to me like we only took about 15 minutes, so you can still get outside for a walk, or you can make the Greek pilaf, or you can eat the Greek pilaf like I'm doing right now. Okay? So thanks for joining. Find joy in the journey, and I'll see you on our group page, okay? Have a great day. Bye.